Hey, what's up guys? Will here. Just at uh, tomorrow's Aeronautical Museum here in California, and uh, Compton, California. And I uh, drove out here for the Star Trek exhibit up at the Skirball, and I decided to slide by here and check out this. Which is the uh, reproduction Airwolf. Uh, this is the one that was originally housed at the uh, museum in, I think, Pigeon Four. No, not Kentucky. Uh, it was in Tennessee, I believe. And... Uh, it was originally sold off a couple years ago and placed on top of a multi-million dollar mansion here and I guess at some point they decided it wasn't going to sell with the mansion and either donated it or it was sold to the museum here and uh, it's not the original but uh, it's still pretty cool to see you know if uh, you're watching this and you don't know what happened to the original the original was uh, eventually uh, sold off and uh, was used as an air ambulance and uh, crashed back in the early 90s so uh, not, not a lot of good luck with these Bell helicopters. I think, uh, I think I'd read too that the one that was used for Red Wolf also crashed. Um, it was being used by, I think by a college or something and it ended up crashing. So uh, not very good luck with the helicopters. However, the Jet Ranger that was used for Dominic's helicopter, I believe was be, still being used as recently as uh, 2018, I believe up in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota as a news helicopter. So I don't know if that's been retired at this point or not. Um, I was going to do a live broadcast here, but as you can hear, this is an active airport. So as you can hear, there's constantly planes taking off, and uh, I figured that wouldn't be very good for a live broadcast. So I figured I'll just do a video on this and, and kind of show you around here a little bit. Um, all the tires are going flat except the front one. So hasn't been moved in a while and the exterior seen better days it's uh it's deteriorating quite a bit so uh, they've got the door taped with uh, weather tape it looks like it looks like it's been opened though so let's see and you can open it and take a look inside not a whole lot to see there is no control room or uh computer area for dominic so that's not in here and uh, i don't think that was in the original helicopter anyway i think that was all set piece so but uh, yeah, the interior is not 100% accurate either. So I don't think they were really too worried about uh, doing a lot to the interior. So um, you can see this here is not a clear piece. It's just basically uh, a film has been placed over it. It's a little better on the other side. Let's take a walk around there. You can see the fuel and nozzle, the fuel nozzle here. Um, the paint on this is definitely, I forgot to bring my swatches. I uh, walked out of the house and totally left them there. And, uh, but this is definitely, you know, on this side it looks a little darker, but when you look at it in the sunlight, it's definitely a gray, gray color. And you can kind of see the, the difference in the color here. This is black. Uh, this is kind of a gloss black. And this is more like a, uh, it's, it's, it's actually a dark gray. So it's got some metallic in it. Um, I think that anthracite gray I'm going to use for the model if I could get it to have some of that metallic look to it uh, would actually probably be pretty pretty damn close to uh, what the color actually is. So uh, we've got a uh, red light on this side and we've got our, let's look at our chaff door here. Oh look, <laughs> no chaffs, <laughs> but it does flip in. Uh, our fuel filler cap I believe that is. but. Uh, one discrepancy I noticed is that the rotors are different. Uh, this is way shorter than what the uh, original Airwolf was. These are way shinier because they were never used. I think this uh, is just a, uh, a bell shell. It's not, uh, it hasn't been flown. So, and another difference I noticed just walking around a minute ago was uh, this is shorter as well. Uh, this used to, has, on the original Airwolf, had more length to it. And uh, you would actually see a uh, string fellow hawk come up and mess with a, a camber or something on it and check it to see if it was uh, moving properly. But uh, not present on this one. So, which doesn't surprise me. Like I said, this, this one I don't believe was ever flown. So, but uh, they did take molds of the original props that were used on the original Airwolf. So what you see on the outside here, as far as uh, this outside piece here, that's made from the original molds. So that should be pretty, pretty precise to what it was on the original Airwolf. And then this nose cowling, uh, the nose cowling up here was also made from the original molds. And you can see it's not, uh, it's all closed off, it's sealed. So, but yeah, so 
not the original Airwolf, but it's still pretty cool to see. And uh, if you're anywhere near here at any point, I would um, get by here real quick and take a look at it because it's uh, it's deteriorating a little bit. You can see the paint kind of uh, where these rivets are is kind of starting to wear off, and some of these panels are starting to buckle a little bit. You got a big big gash right back here, so it's seen better days. But uh, anyway, it's still cool to look at, and I uh, figured I would share that with you guys while I was out here. I'm going to take a lot of pictures. I'll post this with the pictures, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. But uh, anyway, I will catch you later at the Star Trek exhibit.